Welcome back! Today we have some more Has Been Hotel, Season 1, Episode 4. 4, yep. Masquerade. Okay. This one has a special warning. This episode contains scenes that depict sexual assault. Viewer discretion is advised. So yeah, this, this is probably going to be a, a deep episode. Anyway, let's get into it. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh oh, what's happening here? That angel dust is in trouble. Finally awake. Hey, angel dust. doesn't he have six yeah. arms? So he's got a hidden pair of arms he can use. I want you to tell me where your boss stashes his vault. <laughs> it's hilarious. You think I tell you anything? Going after Valentino? I guess I'll just have to fuck the information out of you. Oh, this is a show. <laughs> or a movie or whatever. Oh my god. You know? Nifty is just all into it. Oh my god. Please don't show us. What? You said it was show and tell day. I'm showing you my best film. And I'm telling you that it scored me a win over that bitch Tiffany Titfucker. You know, okay. a very convincing interrogation scene. <laughs> I, I mean, what? What makes you think he's not wrong. Any right to insult my work to my fucking face. You really going to sit there and act like these scripts ain't hot garbage? <laughs> Fuck you. Did he, though? Did he act like that? Oh, my God. That's bullshit. Sir Pench is just like, no. All the time. Everyone likes to bitch to the bartender. I know everything about you and these motherfuckers at this point. That one, Probably. That one is an insecure buffoon whose lonely ass watches you idiot sleep. We can't tell people that though. A bleeding heart who That's a dick move. Problem set for own. What? I mean. No, I, what? It was in the commercial. This one judges everyone and everything because she hates herself. Uh, and Nifty? Yeah. You don't <laughs> want to know what her deal is. I think Nifty might be my favorite <laughs> character. Oh, wow. Alistair's a close you second. Don't get me started. I see right through you and all this bullshit and how fake you are. <laughs> oh, me? Fake? Wow, I had no idea. Guess that's why I'm an actor, dumbass. <laughs> you know, he's got a really good point there, though, right? <laughs> Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm... No, no, I just... I, no, I, I'm not. But, uh, yeah, I'll be right there. I got the magic oh. coffee mug today. Just like Val needs me for <laughs> an uh, emergency shoot. Uh -huh, sure. You know what? An emergency oh, shoot. Shit with some drunk ass bartender thinks that was a so porn shoot, an emergency. Whatever cave you came from, porn critic. Angel, you can't leave yet. We haven't finished our exercises for the day. I'm sure you'll manage without me. There isn't much time left for the hotel to prove itself. Dollface, it's my job. I know you want to fix everything, but unless yeah. you can fix my boss, there's nothing you can do. Kind of. Why is this so hard? Kind of need a job, right? The... And well, plus... I mean... Okay, I hit the wrong button there. <laughs> Whoops. But plus, also, didn't in episode two... Episode two, didn't Vox and Val, when they were talking, didn't Vox mention how... Angel was still under contract. So he's like obligated to go do this, right? It's not like necessarily just a job where he wants money. It sounds like he actually signed a contract, so he has some obligations there. Okay. Ugh, why is this so hard? What am I doing wrong? Well, I mean, you're the princess of hell, so. What does that even mean, though? I don't really use the power that comes with that, which I love about you, but. Maybe you can, I don't know, command a little more authority. But that's so mean. <laughs> that seem out of character for her. Exactly, it's uh, aggressive kindness. Okay, I. You're gonna have to use that one. So aggressively kind to Angel's boss that I convince him to let Angel spend more time at the hotel. Sure, whatever gets you there, babe. I have a feeling that's not gonna work out too well. I feel like that's a really bad idea. Yeah. 
really expect me to memorize this whole script? I thought you were an actor. You think anyone watches for the dialogue? Travis! Action! Oh no! So many burglars and oh my god. one name. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> I guess I'll have to do. Oh, oh my god. Oh. So, what are you gonna do to me? Yeah, this reminds me of the last break-in that I had. I, I just feel like this is a really bad idea. What in the ever loving fuck are you doing? She's gonna get him in trouble. I am the princess of hell, angel, and I go where I please. <laughs> I go where I please. No, 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 no. You are going nowhere near there. Angel, what is the fucking hold up? I'm coming. Not off camera, you're not. <laughs> just, just wait, wait until I'm done working and we will talk about this. I oh my god. You gotta go. Ah, your majesty. Uh oh. Too late. He noticed her. Welcome to my humble sex dungeon. What can I do for such a... Ah, uh, no thank you. Ew. Charlie? You Charlie. Charlie. Because I could Kick his ass. Summer. You can take him. Both richer than well. Your papito. Fuck no. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I have come to aggressively kindly speak with you about Angel. Later, of course. I wouldn't want to stand in the way of your work. Oh, look at that look. Make yourself comfortable, your man. Oh, no. And enjoy the show. Well, let's take this shit from the top. <laughs> Action. Oh, well, Mr. Robbers, I sure oh my God. you don't hurt me with those big guns of yours. <laughs> oh. Move, you spicy little uh... Cock sleeve. Cock sleeve. We're getting the morning from eight to nine. What? What the fuck? I haven't heard that one before. Oh, I'm sorry. Were we too loud? Oh no. I was telling him about the Hasman Hotel. Not at all, princess. Oh, he's. It doesn't bother me. Yes. You know, this scene feels awfully violent. If you want help with the script, you see, maybe I can pitch some. The sad part here that she doesn't seem to realize is while he may not be able to take his anger out on her, there is someone he can take his anger out as soon as you leave, right? Think that through. You're not thinking of that. This is just, I can already tell, especially with the warning at the beginning of the episode. This is going to be really bad. Some scenarios that are more... Oh, okay, okay. Um, oh, okay, that's on fire. That's... that's, that's, that's on fire. Not good. Oh my god. <laughs> I am so, so sorry. Oh no, he's just staring him down. Oh, he's like a butterfly or something. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my gosh, I am so, 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 so sorry. I, I, I can clean this up. I, I can... Don't you worry, you pretty blonde head. Oh no. We have people for that. Angel. Can I see you in your dressing room for a moment? Oh no, that's not good. That's really not good. Charlie, you done messed up. Val, I didn't know that you... <sighs> Val, I... You really think you can have Lucifer's little bitch fight your battles for you? Yeah, and of course, he's not going to believe that Angel didn't ask her to do this, right? To fuck with me? Although I'm not sure that would matter at the end of the day. You think she can get you out of work? No, no, th th that's not what I'm trying to do. I, no. Poor Angel, man. You know she can't do anything. I own you, or have you forgotten that? Oh, is that what they meant by under contract? Like, no. he owns his soul? You say, yes, Valentino. When oh. I say you are fucking 20 guys, There's more to it than, like, a work contract. Yes, Valentino. When I say oh, man. Out of my studio. Poor angel, dude. Someone needs to kill Valentino. Someone needs to do it. She just gets involved in everything. I'll, I'll tell her to leave. Just don't hurt her. I have killed bitches for life. Could he hurt her, though? You're giving me. You're lucky you make money. Now you're gonna go get rid of her, and then you're filming all night. Get me? Yes, Val. Good. Charlie, kill him. 
Kill him. All right, get your asses back on set, and we are taking this from the top. What makes you think do it? You treat him like that. Do it. Just stop. Oh. Angel, what are you talking? About? Charlie Lee. She could have taken him. But I didn't want you to come here. I already Probably. asked you to leave, and you didn't listen. You made things worse. I just wanted to help you. Well, you ain't. You actually want to help me? Get the fuck out of here. You'd actually right feel now. really, really bad for Let me us right now. I, I didn't. Being stuck in that situation and I'm, abused in that way. I'm so sorry. No one should have to go. And the, the saddest part with it, right, is this is stuff that actually happens. This isn't just a elevated story. I mean, the part about Owen and the soul is obviously um, an addition, but also not really, right? I mean, it's metaphorically true. And this it's just horrible because you know that actual people go through actual scenarios like this and are actually abused like this. And it's just the saddest thing in the world. And in my mind, people like Valentino they, they should just be put away for life or gotten rid of. Like, there's no excuse for that. There's no justification. And, um, yeah. Poor Angel, man. I wonder if we'll get resolution on this, this episode. We're getting another song. a good song that beat in the background and the voice the music has just been spot on i mean middle of the song i know but we gotta we just have to take a second especially with the smoke animations the animations have been absolutely stunning out of this world they've outdone themselves I know that it might not be like the most refined style, art style, but they've kept it true to the original concept, which is very important, right? But I mean, some of the shots they're doing, some of the camera movements, some of the smoke physics that they're doing, I mean, this is just the skill that it takes to do those things. It's absolutely amazing. I, I can't even make a stick figure walk across the screen, so... <laughs> And the lyrics are deep. song is so dirty paired with the animations too a lot of these lyrics have uh double or triple meanings the song's a bop like i would just straight up listen to this on my spotify That's so cool, Vox can just like flip away through a camera and stuff. It's crazy. Oh, poor Angel. I need a drink. The hardest you can make. You look like shit. Not possible. Just a long shook. I is a good actor. Oh, I said a strong one. Excuse me. Didn't realize this was a drink of the forget kind of night. Oh, I forgot. You're the wise old <laughs> who's seen it all. It's got the voice for Get it. Get the fuck over yourself and pour me a real drink. Look, 
If you've got a problem, you're not going to find the solution at the bottom of a bottle. I should know. I've been looking there long. You're like the time. biggest alcoholic on the show. Then where should I look? Hmm? In your bedroom, maybe. Under the covers. Maybe we can go look together. Husk, Husk is going to kick your ass, Angel. Oh, come on. I bet I can make those wings flap. Can you fly with those oh, wings? Christ. You can cut the actor in. It's never going to work on me. So all you're doing is making an ass out of yourself with this fake bullshit. Call me fake one more time, motherfucker. Oh, are those eyes? Fake. Fucking asshole. You're done. You know what? You would be fucking lucky to get a chance to fuck me. You know how much I'm worth? Uh-oh. You know, Angel's having a break. What did you do? <laughs> she just knows. He looked really upset. It's just Angel. He'll be fine. I'm not so sure. Will he, though? I really messed up at the studio today, and he got... You did. Ugh, it was... You definitely messed up, good. Charlie. Okay. Gee, sounds like someone should go after him. <laughs> wink, wink. Someone named Husk. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Why don't you go if you're so worried? Because I'm not the one who sent him storming out. You caused it, you drag him back. No, no. Don't force him back. Just make sure he's safe. I pushed too hard earlier. See, I only made that's sense. important. Look, he'll come back when don't he's ready. Don't drag him back. Don't Just make sure he's okay. To him until then. Very important distinction. Now, that's where a lot of people mind. fail, right? Letters and a lesson plan for tomorrow about boundaries. <laughs> well, at least you learned something, I guess, right? Yeah. <sighs> Drugs are bad, kids. Okay. Mm whiskey. I meant the whole bottle, jackass. Oh, I need to do that next time I'm at a bar. Better options, right, boys? Hey, baby, be a doll and bring me another one. Daddy's out of jokes. Shark looking guys are interesting looking. Oh, no. You ever spike someone's drink, you deserve to die. That's just. There's no argument there. No defense. Husk to the rescue, yeah! Uh oh, they got guns. What the actual fuck are you doing here? Oh, they're not gonna come after you. I'm taking you back to the hotel. Get off! That fucker you up in your drink. You were you were specifically told not to drag him back, but to check on him and make sure he's okay. Don't force him back, dude. When you force people back, you're forcing them away. If someone spikes my drink, I do this all the fucking time. You just let people drug you all the time? You think I ask for it? I don't ask for any of this shit. I didn't ask to be this way. I didn't ask for Charlie to save me. I didn't ask for you to save me. I can handle myself. You know, it's got a point, though. He clearly desperately needs help, right? Angel does. But sometimes people don't necessarily need to be safe sometimes they just need a friend to listen a friend to be there a friend to care not everyone needs to or wants to be saved that's very real really because i just saw someone self-destructing it seems like i don't know you might need a bartender to talk to Oh, so now you're gonna act like you give a shit. I think it's a little late for that, you man. Think after how you treated me, I'm gonna open up to you, please. Maybe I treat you better if you were real and not some bullshit version of yourself, always pushing my boundaries. Let me tell you, nobody in that hotel cares who you are, how famous, how. It's high. true. I don't think a single person cares. Cut the act. It's not an act. Ooh. It's who I need to be, and this. This is my escape, where I can forget about it all, I, how much I hate everything. Ooh. A place where I can get high and not have to think about how much it hurts. 
And maybe if I can ruin myself enough in the process, if I end up broken, I won't be his favorite toy anymore. Oh, poor he. And maybe he'll let me go. Oh, this is hitting hard. This is, uh, it's too real. <laughs> I, I've never, I'm lucky enough that I've never been in that kind of situation. But I've known people who were, and to watch them intentionally hurt themselves, thinking that that's the answer. And it's hard. I think that we all probably know someone or are friends with someone who's gone down that path. And it's really hard, especially because every situation is different. Every person is different. So knowing what the best way to react in that situation and the best way to handle that, the best way to help that person, if you can, or at least not make the situation worse, it's very hard. It's very hard. And the last thing that you want to do is go in with good intentions, but make it worse. And like I said, a lot of times people don't need to be saved. They just need someone to listen to, someone to care. And, uh, yeah. Very real. Very real stuff. And I, I really feel for Angel here. I was an overlord once, you know. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. It was nice to have that power. But when you're dealing in souls, while also being a gambler, the stakes are pretty high. And losing... But what does it actually mean? I think I brought this up in a previous episode. What's it actually mean to be an over? Does it just mean that you own other people's souls? Does it mean you're a leader of a group or an area or a combination of the two? Because Alistair's considered an overlord, right? But he doesn't seem to have like a domain, a jurisdiction, but he owns souls. If the pilot is canon, he owns Husker's soul and he owns Nifty's soul, right? So, and others, I would assume. So what does it actually mean to be an overlord? Losing a few hands can be more than a little dangerous. So when you're down on your luck, I would buy that card set. Anything to keep you afloat. Oh, is that how? So I know what it's like to regret the choices made. Wait, so you were one of the overlords, Alistair Toppled? <laughs> this story, I love this story. This is and this is really good. No one you can't take it back. Wow. Do they actually have a so some in common? Back, We're getting a Husker song? Or is it just Husk? I don't know. Your whole existence seems fucking hopeless. Dude, this voice actor, I forget his name, but you're feeling filthy. Amazing. <laughs> Just happened to find a matching umbrella. <laughs> You've lost your way. You think your life is wrecked. Well, let me just say you're correct. correct. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes. You're a loser, baby. A loser. Are you trying to help or hurt us? <laughs> A little tough love, maybe? I don't know. Oh, just like me. Okay. I see what I see what he's doing here. <laughs> so it's saying, hey, you're messed up. And you need to admit that. But so am I. We're messed up together. I kind of like that. Dude, he's got an amazing voice. They all do, to be fair. 
Yeah, so did he. Have you met Alistair? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you be what whatever you want to be. This song is amazing. Ah, a little too much information. <laughs> Don't need to know that. See, I would legit just listen to this outside of the show. If I heard this on the radio, I'd be like, oh, this is a great song. How do they continually do this with each song? Oh, they, they finally followed him out of the bar. <laughs> I'll deal with this. Oh, former overlord here. He's got throwing Exploding dice, all right, yeah. Where did you get the gun from? I suppose for an actor, you might be pretty elastic in places. Hide things. Well, that was a lot of guns. Like I said, are they friends now? Sex ain't the only thing I'm good at. Good to know, cause this guy ain't half bad. Yes. He had like three bills. And it took him like 30 minutes to count it. His eyes are so shit. <laughs> Bonding. And this is the guy you got to take orders from? I know. What a fucking joke, right? I'm so sorry, Angel. I promise I won't ever. I'm a thirsty ever, boy. Ever, ever, Charlie, ever. It's fine. I get it. <gasps> Thanks for caring about me. All the character development. <laughs> Why am I tearing up? What the hell? <laughs> okay, Missy. Let's get you to bed. He, he said he forgave me. He didn't really say that, though. Did he? I don't think he did. He implied it. You read my mind. Ah, we got a new friendship on the team. Ah. Huh. Keith David, that's his name. <laughs> oh my God, the the guy who plays Husk. He's also he has a few other roles, but the one that really sticks out to me is the cat from Coraline. His voice, I just I love his voice. Absolutely amazing. What an episode, though. I mean, that that got deep and dark, um, and real, you know. And I got emotional with this episode. Like, how can a funny princess in hell show make me feel things. <laughs> it's it's not supposed to happen. It's like what happens with Hell of a Boss. It's like how how is how am I feeling things watching this? How is the show tugging at my heartstrings and making me feel sad and happy and like how do I feel empathy for a demon prince? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Absolutely love it. The animation, the voice, the music. So far, there's been, what, two songs per episode, I think? So this is a total of eight. Yeah, this was episode four. So a total of eight songs. And so far, there was just the one that I wasn't really that into. Um, and that was that duet with... Uh, Camilla. Camilla, yeah. The, the one with the white uh, hair. I thought were horns, but it's hair. And... And uh, Vagy, right, where they had that kind of duet where they were singing and that Zestial guy was kind of singing to you. That one wasn't my favorite. I'm not saying it was bad, but that one was the one that I least enjoyed so far. But the rest of them, every other song, it's like I would, 
I actually have added them to my Spotify playlist. <laughs> and uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Can't wait for the next one. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.